Come with me on a ride. We're gonna time travel tonight. Every moment in a fight, like every moment in time, takes place in a unique reality that has been shaped by everything that has come before it. Like choosing a direction on a busy street dramatically changes every moment in your life that follows. Every single instant in a fight shapes every instant that comes after it. Each physical, mental, and emotional exchange in battle reshapes both combatants and the living, breathing, changing organism that is a fight itself. It is through this lens that I want to look back at Demetrius Johnson's brilliant performance when he defeated John Dodson. Let's look at round five as its own unique moment in time. Round five, it starts out, they both want to give each other a little respect, but wait, what's going on here? It's a bit of beta here. He seems to want to lower the temperature of the fight. It's at a boiling point and he wants to bring it down. Why? Well, Demetrius Johnson feels it too and he wants to bring it up. Here in round five, round five Demetrius Johnson is in full control over round five John Dodson. He puts it on him with punches, he puts it on him in the clinch, and then he puts it on him on the ground. He wants to dominate this man. He wants to dominate him to the end. He wants to manage the fight as a whole. And here in round five, Dodson wants to stop the fight, stop the action, take the fight away. So he pulls him in and takes away all space. You can't move sideways, you can't move forward, you can't move back. What does the champ do? Takes the vertical plane up. Because when you're trying to slow the fight down, there's always a route and Demetrius Johnson finds it. Demetrius Johnson wants to put the fight on him. Dodson wants to take the fight away, but you can't take the, the fight away from the champ. And he pours it on, pours it on, pours it on. Oh yeah, when you look at it as its own moment in time, round five Demetrius Johnson is laying a beating on round five John Dodson. And yes, Demetrius Johnson will retain that belt after round five. And yeah, the belt, the 125 pound belt. Have I ever told you about my friend Sammy Jenkins? He loves belts and he loves Demetrius Johnson. Sammy Jenkins, Demetrius Johnson, the champ after round five. But let's look back at round four as its own moment in time. What was round four in this fight? Demetrius Johnson, you look here at Dodson, his coach is imploring him to put pressure, imploring him to increase his pace, imploring him to stay busy. What does his coach know? His coach knows something about his fighter and he needs to beg him to work. Demetrius Johnson, nobody's gotta beg him. He starts the same every single round. One shot from Dodson, Demetrius Johnson takes away all space and he starts to abuse him. He starts to physically abuse him. He starts to pressure him, pressure, pressure, pressure. And he tries to put in one philosophy. That is any choice you make is a mistake. And here with his opponent tiring, Demetrius Johnson making smart technical choices and adjustments, hundreds of them within the fight you see here. He will take his right hand, take the heel, take his left and readjust it higher. Now he will retake the right hand on the baseball grip and yank it down further. These kind of adjustments, feeling your opponent still able to execute so perfectly are really hard on the mind of the man they're being done against. And Demetrius Johnson is using the philosophy of any choice you make is a mistake for you. And he makes you pay for any choice. Here, you wanna get your leg back, he will go to the clinch, he will beat you up. You wanna disengage, you wanna move forward, he will beat you up. You want his leg, he makes that a mistake pressures the head. You see the difference when he has the single. When he's been held, he goes right back to the clinch and he lays a beating on him. This was round four, Demetrius Johnson. Whatever had come before it had created an environment where this man was fully dominant. This man was fully the alpha in round four and he laid a good beating on Dodson and set the tone for what would become the rest of the fight. Round four, Demetrius Johnson in full control as we've seen him so often in his career. A little fight left in Dodson, he wants to take that away from him. And at the end, maybe this moment is where he decided, I gotta lower that temperature. And he decided to turn it up. Round three, this was a pivotal round. When you look at how round three, as its own moment in time, inferred by everything that came before it. 
Round three, a huge round. And you look at him. We don't know what happened in round two, but does he look like a man who won round two or lost it? You cannot tell. There's no rise in confidence. Demetrius Johnson, you can never tell. No matter what happened, he's the same. Round three, it's all about pressure. It's all about letting Dodson know it's going to get worse for him as this fight carries on. He hunts him. He pushes him back. And if you get a moment, he takes that moment away from you, makes it a non-issue. You got a knee. He pushes and pushes and makes that knee not a success. And right here, he will make you pay at any time. If you even think about throwing a punch, he will make you pay. You flinch, you pay. You punch, you pay. He makes you pay for all of your choices. He's teaching Dodson. He's training Dodson how to lose this fight. And Demetrius Johnson puts that pressure on and on through round three, and he sets a tone, overcomes him, pushes him to the ground. And this is all about alpha dominance right here. The man goes to get back up, and this is physical dominance. Rather than choosing to take the hips, he will use lower back pressure to physically dominate his man to the ground. Watch this choice right here. Low back pressure, bend him. That is physically taking the fight out of the other dog. And when he finishes this round, you want to get back up, he'll let you up, and he'll make you pay for that choice too. Every choice you make is the wrong choice. Now round two was a pivotal round. Round two was one of the most important rounds or the most important round of this fight. Why was round two so important? Was it because, as we saw, John Dodson won the round and twice dropped the champ onto his butt? Is it because Dodson did it not once, but twice? Yes, that was important. But even more important, and the thing that made Demetrius Johnson win this fight was how he handled it. Watch here, right back, and he tries to take away that victory. Make it not a victory, and rather than a victory, good for you, you knocked me down, make it a failure. You need to knock me out, and you failed to knock me out. After that, he will push to take round three back and leave the last thoughts in Dodson's mind being, I gave him my best. I got my hands on him, and rather than knock him out, he got back up and he pressured me, and maybe I have that in store for me for the rest of the fight. That's what Demetrius Johnson did. He got dropped two times, and when he came back from them, he took that away. He made it not a victory, but a failure, and he pushed back and he pushed back, and when he finished round three, he finished it in both of their minds. Who won that round? Dodson won that round. But what's Demetrius Johnson thinking? Well, I might have lost it on the scorecards, but I got it back, and he's got to do three more hard with me, and I'm going to keep coming and coming till I break him. And what was Dodson thinking? Well, he might have been thinking about the success, the victory of dropping him twice, but if he saw it as a failure, if he believed his only way to win was to knock Demetrius Johnson out, then he failed at that. He knocked him down, that's a victory, but he did not finish him, and that is a failure. And if you approach a fight and go into a fight, feeling that you need a knockout to win. When you drop him, you don't get one. And that started all the way back in round one. That same concept, that same idea, Demetrius Johnson will win it any number of ways. He'll manage the fight. He'll control the body of the fight to win it. And Demetrius Johnson, if he gets finished, that would be the only way that John Dotson would win this fight. Dotson gets his hands on him, right back to his feet, immediately gets back to work and makes the statement, if you drop me, that's not finishing me. And if you don't finish me, I'm going to keep coming and coming and I'm going to win that fight. And that mindset started when they first got in the cage. Demetrius Johnson wanted to keep his belt. This man happy to be here to get the opportunity to try to knock you out. And that mindset starts in the gym as well. That mindset in the gym, you're a knockout artist. But if you can't knock him out, this man trains from the day he was born, trains to win the whole thing. He's a winner. A winner's mentality, win no matter what happens. And all of that informed Demetrius Johnson versus John Dodson one, and all of that and much more will inform Demetrius Johnson versus John Dodson two. Why? Because every moment in a fight, like every moment in life, takes place in a unique reality that has been shaped by everything that has come before it. Robin's Breakdown. Brought to you by Fantasy Sports Network, the world's first and only channel dedicated 24-7 to fantasy sports. Available now on Rogers, channel 499.